the primary types of oyster knives that you're going to see out there. Um, so I've been shulking for 30 years and I can tell you, this is the oyster knife that I started out with. Um, you can see, you can see it's, uh, it's had some wear and tear on it. All right. But you got the point. It's not, uh, it's not sharp, but it's rounded. It's enough to, um, it's enough to cut that, that mollusk muscle that it keeps them shut. Uh, really what you're trying to do with this kind of knife is you're, you're drilling. In fact, um, I think this knife might be called an oyster drill. Uh, what my granddad used to call it. I have uh, a little bit wider bladed knife. Um, again, they're not sharp on the outside or anything like that. It's kind of almost like a rounded concave surface. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but you can see it's kind of rounded. Almost has an edge uh, on each side like a knife, but it's not sharp. The only part that's really sharp is right here. That's uh that's a pretty good point. Now I personally this is not a knife that I'm really familiar with. This is what I would call like a clamming knife, but um I just wanted to show it to you. So this is Victorinox, which uh, makes an awesome knife, period. Um but I came across their oyster knife a few years back uh at a restaurant and I had to have one. So I've been using this one for a few years now. Um, and again, it's got all the same kind of basic concepts, but I think it's uh, it's a harder steel. Um, you can take it to a stone and sharpen up the edges a little if you want. You can also get that point back by simply grinding. So I don't like to work with a super sharp point uh, with this kind of oyster knife. I kind of keep it a little bit dull. Um, Cause just, uh, just my preference. This is a toadfish, and uh, I gotta be honest, this has really uh, been my go-to knife here lately. It's uh, it's rounded like your traditional oyster knife. It's concaved. Um, you got you got your point. Um, I think it's it's definitely a hard steel. Uh, harder steel that it's made of. It's got a lot of weight on the back end of it. As you can see, it's really ass heavy. So it falls down. Um, it just kind of, it just works in your hand. Um, and you can get a little bit of purchase on it. So, you know, like depending on whether you want to pry, the oyster shell is not, um, not perfectly symmetrical or anything like that so sometimes you've got angles that you've got to kind of adjust for and this flat side really lets you get the purchase you need to to pop that shell 